boost that wouldn't cause him to lose his running pace, yet would be spectacular and impractical enough to emphasize cinematic hyper-reality. We hired stuntmen specializing in parkour to record these sequences. The actors' movements were then recorded in the motion capture studio. The characters of Infected are the result of creative collaboration between Platish and Techland artists. Hey guys, my name is Jonah Scott and I voice Aiden Caldwell in Dying Light 2. Hello Jonah. Hi. Um, I'm very curious, how is it to play such a role in a video game? Is it a challenge for you or just a normal job? Well, I think this is a little bit more than a normal job for me. Um, I've been Aiden for about five years almost at this point. Um, I played him originally as a scratch track, a temporary vocal track for the real actor to go in and then listen to timing to get cutscenes and you know things like that for localization purposes. But um, over the years, they just kept asking me to come back and voicing more tiny other things. And I had to sit for a little while not knowing whether or not I would be Aiden. Um, and then eventually they were just like, yeah, we, we, we thought you knew. We thought you were gonna come back and, and do the real thing. So here I am, uh, honored and humbled to voice Aiden in Dying Light 2. It's a dream come true. Yeah, we are also honored that, that you are the voice of Aiden Caldwell. And um, how about the script? Is it long? Oh yeah, in a word, yes, very, very long. Um, we, when we do video games, uh, we do them in an Excel spreadsheet. It's not like a traditional script, like a movie script. Um, and because of that, the place where we recorded has a tracker at the top of the Excel spreadsheet. And the tracker had the number, the max number of lines that I had, and that would keep getting bigger as, as, as the script kept uh, improving and getting more and more uh, reviews on it. Um, but I think at the most point, it was like 50,000 lines. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a lot. And I can't imagine how many that the other actors have, like Rosario Dawson. They, 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 they also would have just as much, if not uh, more lines than I would, um, because a lot of mine are just grunting and jumping and, and, and running and things like that. But yeah, the script itself is very long, very long. It was a ga good gamification of, of the, the, the video game script that we could, as I would do lines, we could see it be ticked off and, and see us making progress throughout the script. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And is there any place for improvisation? Oh, lots. Um, I was able to put in a lot of pre and post life because a lot of the lines themselves are uh, wild, which means that I didn't have any timing or anything like that. I could go as long or as short as I wanted with the line. I could breathe through it. I could take pauses. I could stumble. Um, um, I could really make it feel lived in and real. And uh, that is something that I've been looking forward to doing my entire career. And it was a really, really great opportunity for me. I'm, I'm, I had the most fun I've ever had performing, honestly. And how do you prepare yourself for the role? For example, Aiden is jumping, running, fighting, and talking at the same time. Do you have any special technique? Well, uh, preparing, uh, you know, obviously besides standard warm-ups and things, I would, I would sing. Uh, one of my favorite things to do when I would warm up is I would listen to the Beastie Boys on the way to, okay. the, to, the, to the studio, and I would, I would kind of rap along with that. But um, actually preparing and doing running and, and jumping and parkour and things like that, I would actually do that in the booth. Um, it wouldn't be the full movement, obviously. We have like a 10 by 10 booth. Um, but I would breathe through my lines. I, I, I would uh, make sure that everything felt natural and real. And uh, if I was choking somebody in a cutscene, I was actually had my hands out there choking the imaginary person, or you know, I'd move around. I, I would move as I was on, let's say, on camera. But um, nobody would be able to see what's going on. So it has the movement. You can hear it in the voice. It's nice and real, natural, and cinematic and grounded. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I, I, beyond preparing, you just got to breathe, make sure everything sounds natural and uh, make sure it's good because I'm going to make a game that I want to play. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> and uh, you are also known from uh, anime roles. Yeah. What is the difference between video, between video games and anime? Well, in anime, it's animated. So everything is just a little bit more over the top. It's a little bit bigger. Um, but here I was able to take a lot of really grounded cinematic reads. I was able to dial it back a lot and uh, make it so that he felt like a movie character. He felt like a film character. Um, and especially the way it's miked, everything is very close. So there are even lines where Aiden is talking to himself and it's almost whispered, it's hushed. And you really feel like you're in Aiden's head for a lot of it. And um, it's, it's, it's incredible. I, I, was, I had so much fun uh, making sure that everything sounded real and grounded and filmic. Mm -hmm. And do you have any dream role that you would like to play? Oh, there's plenty in fiction. I have, I have dozens of characters that I would love to play, but uh, Aiden is very special because uh, it's an archetype that I wanted to play. The uh, 
first-person action RPG protagonist. Um, I'm inspired by a lot of uh, other American voice actors that I, I really look up to, like Matthew Mercer and Roger Craig Smith. Um, they're inspirations for me. And beyond wanting to impress them, um, I want to make sure the fans get what they want. Uh, because I'm a, I'm a fan of the game myself. It was the first game I played when I moved to L.A. I, I, I got the audition and I was floored. Um, I want to make sure that I'm a streamer, too. So I want to make sure this is a game I want to play. Um, especially on stream or, or, or even privately in my own home. I, I want to make sure that this is uh, something I want to keep going back to. I want to make sure that this is uh, a game that I want to play. I want to make sure that uh, Aiden is a character that is likable, that is lovable. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> And speaking about Aiden, uh, aren't you tired of him? Do you still like him? Oh, not at all. Uh, Aiden is a fun character in that when we were, when we were making the character initially, because I've been this character for almost five years, he's gone through a lot of variations. And uh, the first thing we were trying was this whole Spider-Man kind of like fun, quippy character. But the, uh, the story itself is very serious. It's very, it's very grounded. It's, it's very real and, and gritty. So we came back and we reassessed. We're like, how do we make this character moving forward? He can't be too fun, but we still want to make sure that he has a lighter side because the story is so dark. So instead, we went with a more Nightwing archetype, where this, this, this guy is very gritty, he's very down to earth, and he's very real and, and pragmatic. Um, but he has a fun side too. And uh, you, you're able to hear that in a lot of dialogues. You're able to hear that in a lot of like, uh, like a lot of his parkour, has a lot of quips in it and things like that. So he has, he has a lot of fun parkouring. He, has, you, he, he definitely enjoys what he does. Um, and that's how we were able to kind of lighten him up a bit and make him very likable and very fun to perform. So no. I'm not tired of him at all. This role came my way because Loan is a very strong character and she needs to be. She's gone through a lot. And to survive in, in this world and dying light, you have to be strong. But one of the things that I've always had as a mission in my work is to make every character that I play strong because I believe that sometimes maybe it's not obvious what makes someone powerful and unique, but you can find that and every single person who's determined to survive the day, you know? So good, bad, or ugly, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. And what's cool about this world and this game and this character is that it's up to you how Luan actually is strong. What? <laughs> is she full on and a badass and coming in hard and fast, you know? It really is up to you what you think is the best way for her to, to get through and, and achieve her goals. And I find that really fascinating and very revealing because I want everyone to experience the reality that anyone and everyone can be strong depending on what they choose to do. So the choice is yours. This has nothing to do with you. <laughs> One of the things that I find the most exciting about being a part of this game is that as an actor, you know, I, I come prepared and I really research my roles and I talk it out and work it out with the writer and the director and the producers and figure out the tone and, you know, try to give as many options, obviously, to the editor and the director as possible. But, you know, I have still quite a lot of say so in how I move and speak and behave. And I find that actually really exciting that, you know, we're gonna do the whole screening and get my avatar in there in a really realistic way, beyond what fans from the original game have, have can even imagine could be coming their way with Dying Light 2. But I get to kind of experience seeing myself be committed and determined and my expressions and my voice and my energy do things that I wasn't expecting to do, that I didn't imagine doing. 